Hi, Grüezi, and welcome to another FSD beta version 10.0.1 quick bits. That's the second one on that software version. In this video, I want to show you a couple of different scenes. One is turn lane selection and how the car handles mistakes in doing so. Some great merging and lane change behaviors with explanations from AI Day. A good example on why you must not become complacent when using beta. And last but not least, a scenario where I'm not sure if that was the intention of the car, but where I felt like it was doing some very smart maneuver. So let's get started. Here we're waiting in the left um, turn only lane. And this is unfortunately something that happens um, still every now and then. So the car chooses the wrong lane. Here we got to go straight and um, we are in the left turn only lane. So I'm waiting to see what the car is going to do. You see the path planning is going straight, it was jumping to the left at one point, but I just want to see what the car is doing. And, and now we start moving and the car wants to go straight. So I take over here. So that attempt was not successful. Let's now look at a different scenario here. I'm turning right and I got to turn left at the next um, intersection. And we got to move over to the left two outer lanes. The car doesn't make it. So it slows down here. The traffic light going straight is green and now you can almost feel like it decides okay let's go straight because that's the way I'm allowed to do. It's doing so um, and you can see now the nav is rerouting and we just go left at the next possible um, option. So in this case the car actually did a mistake but it corrected itself and the result was a safe maneuver and maybe a couple of seconds or a minute or two longer route but very safely and the right thing to do in this setup and I wish the car would do that every time um, or actually wouldn't have to do it that would even be better not getting into the wrong lane but if it happens the action that you just saw is the safe and right way to solve this. Next I want to show you some more clips around merging and changing lanes. I really feel this has improved a lot in version 10 and 10.0.1 and first I want to show you a clip from uh, Tesla's AI day where Ashok Eluswamy, the director of autopilot software at Tesla, has explained in great detail how the planning of this merging and lane change function actually works. I'm just going to play you this clip. So here uh, we're trying to do a lane change. Uh, in this case the car needs to do two back-to-back -back lane changes to make the left turn up ahead. For this the car searches over uh, different maneuvers. Um, so in the, fir the, the first one it searches is a uh, lane change that's close by, but the uh, car brakes pretty harshly, so it's pretty uncomfortable. The next maneuver it tries, that's the lane change bit late, so it speeds up, goes by in the other car, goes in front of the other cars, and finally does the lane change, but now it risks missing the left turn. We do thousands of such searches in a very short time span. Um, because these are all physics-based models, these futures are very easy to simulate, uh, and in the end, we have a set of candidates, and we finally choose one based on the optimality conditions of safety, comfort, and easily making the turn. So now the car has chosen this path, and you can see that as the car executes this trajectory, uh, it pretty much matches what we had planned. The cyan plot on the right side here, um, that one is the actual velocity of the car, and the white line underneath it is, was the plan. So we are able to plan for 10 seconds here and able to match that uh, when we see in hindsight. So this is a well-made plan. I'll leave you a link to that whole AI day. I highly recommend having a look. I think there is tons of interesting stuff in there. And um, now let's have a look how this planning actually looks or works in reality. So this is a scenario where I have to turn to the right lane so I can make the entry to my destination. So this is the first try. My car puts on the blinker to turn right, realizes he cannot do it because the car to the right is actually slowing down. It stops blinking and it tries, it feels like it tries to go ahead of that car. The car to the right accelerates as well. So my car decides that it needs to slow down, make the right turn behind that car and it makes that very comfortably and just in time to actually do the turn into my destination. So I think this is a very good example of how this planning actually works and it's quite impressive. And here is a second example on a highway on-ramp. Um, there is a truck actually to my left here and uh, the gap is actually narrowing down. The truck is slowing down as well and my car is kind of trying to find the gap, tries to go in front of that other car, 
sees a gap behind that white car and decides to take that and does that very confidently. So again, a perfect um, merge onto the highway here in this scenario. So these were a couple of good examples, but I also want to show you a, a quite a bad example here. Um, this is an intersection I've been taking probably more than a hundred times on FSD beta, and it was doing it without any problems um, whatsoever in all of these times, except this time. It did a very uh, wide swerve onto the oncoming lane here for no apparent reason whatsoever, unless I missed something. So if you see something, please leave me a comment, but I haven't seen an explanation of why it was doing this. So these are things that are really a reminder of, you know, never become uh, complacent on when using this and always be ready to take over, even in situations which the car managed quite well in the past. Next example, this is actually a, a clip I showed you in my last video of how it dealt with a biker on the road. So it, you know, it went around it and um, kind of was aware that the biker was actually coming on the right, made some space to the right. The biker at the same time turned to the left and it went back and the space to the right was not needed anymore. So it, it goes around bikes if necessary and it does that quite consistently. Now a more recent scenario, um, again with bikers, and here I'm coming and approaching them. You can see them here on the right hand side. And the car actually for a split second here decides to go around them. You can see that here. But then the car decides against it and instead slows down and follows the bikes with uh, quite a safe distance. And I was initially wondering why didn't they just pass those two bikers? And then you can see the um, navigation route that's coming up is actually we have to turn right here. So the car waits behind these bikers and then turns right. And my interpretation, my guess at this is it really didn't pass them because it knew it has to turn right in just a couple of moments. So by passing those bikers, it would have had to cut them off and it, that was not a safe maneuver to do. So I quite like that decision of staying behind them, although it might have felt awkward and uh, strange for these bikers, but it was a safe decision. And the last clip I want to show you for today in this video is actually also something where I think the car made a very smart decision. So here we are approaching an intersection, we have a green light actually, the car in front of us is slowing down and my car is almost coming to a stop until it feels like it sees that the intersection is clear and only then it continues. So I think that was a very smart maneuver to prevent getting stuck in the middle of an intersection when there is too much traffic and blocking the cross traffic. I have to watch out for similar scenarios in the future where it maybe is more evident that that really was uh, the reason why the car behaved that way, but it's certainly how it felt when I was driving it. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed um, all of the different clips that I showed you. As always, if you have questions, if you have comments or remarks, please comment on them. If you want to get notified about upcoming videos, please consider subscribing and hit that bell so you get notifications. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.